Well, it took a long time for my had to have for me to have a complete Blu-ray collection from Amazon this month, but damn it, it was worth the wait. First off, I'm gonna show you this movie. What's probably controversial for some is is the the Lorax. This is from the people that that created the Despicable Me franchise, and it's got a different ending compared to the book, which is controversial for some fans. And even the ad campaigns they showed, like, uh, car commercials seem hypocritical. I plan to watch this one day, and I'll give you my full opinions on it, but it looks pretty funny. I like the fact that Dad Helms is in it. Another film I got is Jack Reacher, which I heard it's pretty amazing for my brother. And I also plan to watch it. Tom Cruise is an ex-military investigator. And he's ready to race some hell and kick some ass. And I heard this Blu-ray is pretty great. And the next Blu-ray I got, I actually seen this film in 3D and it's pretty cool, is Metallica Through the Never. And the storyline's confusing, but damn, the soundtrack is amazing. And the Blu-ray is pretty awesome too. It's it's it, it's a double disc set. It even tells you the extras on the disc itself, which I think is pretty nice. And I've never seen any Blu-ray disc that done that. Usually it just says extras, but it's got the entire list of extras on the disc, which is kind of interesting. This is a good movie. And I was. I, I didn't think I was going to get this this month, but I seen it for five bucks the other day. I just had to... I had to order it. It was this movie called The Great Escape. It's an old Steve McQueen movie where he's trying to escape from Nazis. And... What's special to me about getting on this movie is... This movie inspired the Metal Gear Solid creator Hideo Kojima to create the franchise. I know this because I watched an episode of Icons on G4 TV. And he... It, it inspired him to make this series. This movie did, and that's pretty awesome. Now, the next three Blu-rays I got are box sets. Well, this one's technically not a box set, but it's a complete series of a show called Firefly. I had the movie Serenity, and I haven't planned to watch Serenity yet until I watch the TV show, and I'm going to get my full opinions on it one day, on the TV show and the movie. But... Let's just say I'm glad to have the, the complete series on the Blu-ray. Three discs, and it, it was only $21. Pretty good price. The most ex And even though he talked to the empty chair at the Republican, National Republican Convention in 2012, I can't help but to like Clint Eastwood. He's a hell of a director, and he's a kick-ass actor as well, as these two box sets concern. The first box set I got is Dirty Harry box set, it's not that Ultra box set that came with an extra disc that came out in 2008, but it's still a damn good box set. It, 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 every movie's got extra features, especially the first one, which it's got a ton of features. I also plan to watch these movies someday. And last but not least, what took me so long was to get this movie called The Man With No Name Trilogy, and it's got all th three movies in the franchise. Including the influential Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, which is completely remastered and it looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's just amazing. This box set only cost me 30 bucks and I had to get this too. This is pretty cool. Took me over a week to get this, some bitch, but it was worth it. That's what I got this month. Till next time, bitches! E3 is here. And I'm going to talk about it.